I can hear you. Yay. Okay, fantastic. Lovely. Okay, perfect. Oh, and Juan is here. Hello. Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, I need to raise this camera a little. Ooh, with the extreme close-up. Ooh, let's do this. Hello, Shane. It is great to see you. Okay. Oh, my. Whoever thought that I would be um, trying to do all this uh, technical troubleshooting, uh, for any of you that know me, um, know me personally, you know I'm not a big tech wizard. So the fact that I am here alone uh, trying to sort this all out is pretty amazing to me. But again, it's a whole new world, so this is uh, quite wonderful. So. Uh, yeah, so what I'm testing out here, I'm at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario, and, uh, you know, next week I'm going to be launching, finally, my online classes, uh, but also um, I just bought some new equipment, so I was just testing it all out uh, to make sure that it all works. Oh my gosh, Michelle, you're in Australia. So, yeah, so what I have is... Oh, maybe, I don't know if you guys can see. It's so weird. I've got, um, there's a TV monitor. So then I'm, I'm watching myself in the TV monitor. So then I can see what you guys uh, can see. Uh, let's see. And then I'm sewing here today on the fabulous Continental M7. And I thought, while I'm doing all this... Oh, from New Brunswick, Cindy, hello, hello. Oh, and Amy, hello. How are you? Uh, yes, I'm doing this uh, big test of all this um, electronics. Uh, Amy, I know certainly you do a lot of uh, Facebook Lives and uh, from your gorgeous new store. So, yes, it's, um, it's a lot to get going, but, ooh, yes, this is my um, quilt. I, while I'm sitting here, I'm today at the Sewing and Learning Center uh, in Oakville, um, and I'm here alone, and, you know, I actually like to come to the office uh, as much as I love my teammates, uh, Genome Canada teammates. I also like to come here uh, when I'm alone, because then, you know, it's nice and quiet, and um, I can, you know, listen to my music and listen to, like, a, a YouTube video. I usually watch, uh, you know, Eleanor Burns and Quilt in a Day. I love her. So, and actually, this is a uh, Quilt in a Day pattern uh, called Hugs and Kisses. So you can see X's and O's. And then uh, it's all hearts in the middle of the quilt. It's this giant quilt. And again, all hearts in the middle of the quilt. Uh, I made this for my middle niece uh, about 10 years ago for her 16th birthday. And some of the stitching, I just did very basic quilting, uh, just a lot of um, the straight line quilting, and then I did uh, the, kind of the serpentine stitch built into a lot of our Janome machines. Uh, so I just did very basic quilting. Uh, this was, again, 10 years ago when I had a very basic machine. Uh, but over the, t uh, you know, over the couple of years that she's used this, you know, in the last 10 years, uh, some of the stitching has come out. Uh, and in fact, oh my gosh, and my uh, eldest niece, Raven, is watching. Hello, Raven. And it was actually uh, Raven's birthday uh, yesterday. And I often have said to people, my eldest niece, Raven, um, it is she why I got into quilting in the first place. Uh, it's when she was born, then I uh, made my very first quilt, and then I totally got addicted to quilting in the first place. So, uh, yes, this is my niece, Sydney's uh, quilt. And, you know, there was even some uh, wear and tear here on the binding. It's come loose a little bit. So I had asked, I had recently done a bunch of uh, quilt uh, show presentations online, of course. <laughs> and I had asked the girls, oh, could you bring me back all of your quilts that I've made you over the years so I could do my quilt show. And then, uh, yes, yeah, Sydney had given me this quilt back and I noticed, oh, she's got some wear and tear here. So I need to, you know, hand sew that binding I've been doing. And then I've been doing some uh, machine quilting here with the fabulous M7. Gorgeous, huge machine. Now, uh, just as a little um, aside, I thought, oh, I've shown this on our Janome HQ. Uh, Instagram lives that I do every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern. This little uh, Janome machine was my very first that I bought um, when 
Raven was just born. So Raven just turned 29 yesterday. So I bought this machine uh, 28 years ago. So she would have been a, a year old. Uh, yes, it was 1992 when I bought this machine. So then I made the first quilt for Raven's um, uh, Christmas. And so this little machine here, it is six and three quarters by uh, five and a half inches. So that was my very first machine, Janome machine, but I sewed on that for years and it did so well. It's now actually rebranded. I'll, I'll turn this back around. It's actually rebranded now as the HD 1000. So perfect machine got me through. I studied fashion design at the time. So perfect machine for that. It still sews to this day. I definitely need to um, get a good service on it though. <laughs> uh, but yes, but now, ooh, yes, I've graduated to the fabulous Continental M7 here. So it has 13 and a half inches of throat space from the center needle position over here. So 13 and a half inches. So it's great to be able to so, and do all this machine quilting on this big giant quilt. And I love having, a, I've got the machine in one of our beautiful uh, kangaroo cabinets. Uh, you know, Janome has partnered with many companies to, again, give you um, as much help in your sewing to make your sewing easier and uh, more pleasant. So, yes, I've got a big chest of drawers over here which I love because then, ooh, I've got all my presser feet inside. Look at all that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> yeah, so I could have all my presser feet inside. And then the uh, table here is got a hydraulic lift. So uh, I uh, showed that on Janome HQ's Instagram Live, oh, I think it was about two weeks ago when I unveiled the uh, Continental M7. So then you can see the machine rise up out of the table. It's really quite fun. And again, it makes it such a, a dream when you're doing such a big project as this quilt. So yes, I just wanted to get online and just kind of test things out and make sure everybody can hear me. Uh, through all the various uh, connections and everything with my iPad. Let's see, I will, ooh, I was trying to look, ooh, to spin around. Spoiled, yes, yeah, Cindy, oh, I agree. It was wonderful. You know, currently, Janome Canada has a lot of uh, promotions going on, so you can go to our janome.ca website and check out the promotions. There are promotions on this fabulous uh, kangaroo cabinet and the Continental M7, as well as some other goodies. So, uh, ooh, like one of these daylight lamps, for example. Ooh, way up here. Yes, this is the luminous lamp. And ooh, I won't blind you with that. But yes, I love this, because then I can put this right over my sewing table. So I have lots of light, you know, there's lots of light on the Continental M7, but then there I've got all this huge light that I can put right over my table. So that definitely makes a, a beautiful sewing area. So yes, uh, you can check out Janome.ca and then depending on which country you're in, definitely check out your local Janome dealers and see what uh, kind of deals that they have. So you too can be spoiled. Uh, certainly Janome, yes, definitely spoils us. And uh, yes, I definitely feel spoiled here at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center because as these fabulous products come in uh, after our uh, marketing guy, um, marketing guru, Alan, uh, did all of our uh, photography for the, the current promotion, then I had said, oh, can I have those cabinets for my sewing room? So yes, we just wheeled them right in here and it's wonderful. Oh, Paige, hello, how are you? Oh, it's great to see you guys. Thank you so much. This was an impromptu live. Uh, I had thought maybe in future I will do some Janome HQ Facebook lives. Oh, let's spin around, hello. Yes, uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll do some Janome Facebook uh, Janome HQ Facebook lives from time to time, because um, then and now I'm doing the Janome HQ Instagram live uh, again every Wednesday at 1 p.m. I used to do it three days a week, but then there is uh, you know so much to do, and now again uh, next week finally I'm going to be unveiling my online classes. So there's been lots to do. That's why I cut down Instagram to one day a week. 
Uh, but certainly I love to be able to connect with everybody, especially with um, the current situation going on. So if we can't connect in person, at least we can connect this way. So I love being able to uh, connect with all of you, see what you're all up to, uh, you know, whatever projects you've been working on with your fabulous Genomi machine and all the presser feet that I've demoed through our Genomi HQ Instagram Lives. You can post them all to our hashtag, uh, hashtag share the Genomi love. So then I can see what you guys are doing too. Uh, yes, Michelle, uh, you would love my job. Yes, I love my job, that's for sure. Uh, and yes, uh, I could certainly use some help too because there is so much uh, going on. It's, it's really amazing. And, and yeah, certainly the uh, you know pandemic situation has uh, changed things for a lot of us. Again, as we say, it's the new normal. Uh, but it's it's very exciting uh, in a way because again that we imagine if all of this had happened you know 30 years ago we never would have been able to connect uh, like this so uh, at least we've got technology on our side and again I'm, I'm slowly trying to figure it all out uh, too I can figure it out for our sewing machines uh, but all of this social media uh, little by little yeah it's getting easier so it's very fun so Yes, it is a lot of fun going very much on Facebook. Is is fun going live? Yes, I did a couple of lives with Genomi Americas Facebook because they were doing their Genomi sewing machine in on their Genomi sewing machine page. They were doing classes and presentations. Initially, they were doing five days a week, and then now I think they're down to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, as well. So, yes. Uh, yes, I agree, Cindy, because there's a lot of people that aren't on Instagram. I've been doing the Instagram lives uh, uh, since oh, May, uh, but then I realized not everybody's on Instagram. So then uh, that's why I thought, yeah, maybe I really should do some Facebook lives as well. So that way we're hitting as many people uh, possible. Yes, Michelle agrees as well. <laughs> so yes, I agree too. Uh, and again, it's kind of fun uh, doing it here on Saturday, because then again, um, normally nobody is in here. Eventually the cleaners come in, so I suppose I'll have to warn them. Uh, I do have a big sign on my door though, so even if they come in the office, I can close my door here to the classroom and put the big sign saying, filming in process, do not come in, because uh, that would be quite funny. Um, yeah, oh, Seth, hello, hello. Yes, yeah, oh, excellent. Oh, it's great to see you. Yes, it's wonderful. So yeah, this is really good um, feedback as well to hear from all of you about, uh, you know, Facebook versus Instagram. So yeah, I think that is very good. So yes, I should do, um, I don't know how frequently I would do maybe once a week uh, and do Instagram once a week. Uh, it's certainly a lot. I, I could do it, you know, every day, but yeah, it's a lot of work to do. And I really have got to get these uh, classes up and going as well. Uh, but already my... Um, you know, there's always so much to do, so much to think about. So I'm thinking, ooh, you know, what could we do? Again, more chances to stay connected. Um, so like a block of the month, you know, something like that, or an embroidery club that we could do once a month so we could meet together and decide, you know, what projects we're working on or even just like a, a sew and share kind of thing. So we could go on uh, Facebook Live and just say, hey, everybody, what are you sewing today? You know, because... Uh, again, if I can figure out how to flip this around, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so again, for things like, oh yes, again, this big uh, quilt of my nieces that I am uh, working on today. So then I could uh, go on live and say, hey, everybody, what are you working on today? And so, yes. Oh, how sweet. Okay. Uh, yes, it's wonderful. It's great to see all of you. Yes, uh, online classes too. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of work, but it is very exciting. And I see more and more people are uh, connecting this way too. More and more teachers as well uh, that are going through on uh, Facebook. So yeah, it's really good that way. Um, oh, and actually, oh, hello, Susan. Let me keep this here a little bit longer. My monitor seems to have frozen. I had everybody up on the TV and I thought, uh, oh, this would be great because then I could be able to see what you're seeing. But then, no, it froze on the television. So I'm not sure why. Uh, but yes, I am using my iPad. And I do have my iPhone. Oh, I guess that's an option too. I do have my iPhone here with me. 
So then I can see what you're all seeing. So that was good, because that's my main thing. I just wanted to be able to see what everybody else can see. <laughs> uh, we are starting classes on Zoom next week. Oh, yay, that's Paige. Um, Paige is one of our fabulous Janome dealers in Brockville, Ontario, at Taylor Sewing Center. So I'll just do a little shout out to Paige. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's wonderful. Again, everybody's going online. So this is the wonderful thing about uh, the technology now with the pandemic. Uh, I don't, you know, even want to think about how long we're going to be doing this. But for the most part, so long as we can connect online and share a little Janome love this way, then I'm fine with that. So I wanted to show you all, too, this fabulous little notion, uh, I guess you'd call it, a little tool that we recently got. Um, these adorable, ooh, look at those. They're adorable mini applique scissors. And of course, oh, can you see? They say Janome on the little duck bill. They're called mini duckling scissors. They're four inches, and I demonstrated them on the Janome HQ Instagram Live, our uh, Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, uh, uh, just this past Wednesday when I was demoing the um, 230E, Memorycraft 230E. So they're ideal for embroidery, and I was specifically doing uh, some uh, in-the-hoop applique, so I was trimming them all away. And because of this big duckbill here, then I don't have to worry about trimming the, the bottom layer of fabric. But what I really love about uh, these scissors, as I will show, is that they're just so good to trim off like your little edges of thread. So as I'm doing my quilting here, and I love wearing these um, uh, you know, these are not Janome gloves, but for any of you who do free motion quilting, I often get uh, questions about free motion quilting and ruler quilting. I like these, uh, wearing these rubbery gloves. They got little sticky, um, or not really sticky, but like a rubbery grip. So then I can grip the fabric here. I didn't have these 10 years ago when I did all the machine quilting on this quilt. So it definitely is nice to uh, revisit this quilt and be able to use uh, some new uh, new machines like the Continental M7 here and again having the machine recessed down in a table certainly makes uh, for uh, quilting very um, easier and then definitely having these uh, gloves also helps as I guide the fabric but then yes I love these, these little mini duckling scissors I'll just do a little back stitch there. And I love having them to trim off. Whoops, I got lost in my quilt. <laughs> yes. And uh, again, just to trim off my little thread ends because I can get right down to the fabric and I know I don't need to worry about cutting that, that bottom edge because of that uh, little duck, ooh, that little duck bill there. So really cute and I mean they're so adorable look <laughs> and again only four inches so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your uh, sewing toolbox so yeah it's really fun so yes I am um, working my way through this big quilt uh, I won't keep you all day because then uh, lord knows uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to work on this quilt but I thought while I'm doing all this testing of all this technology and everything that I would just uh, jump in and say, hey, everybody, what are you doing on a Saturday? I hope you're having some fun uh, working on whatever project you are working on. Uh, you would love the gloves that I use. Oh, Michelle, yes. Okay, cool. You can uh, even post a picture on our hashtag share the Janome love uh, so I can see. That would be great. Or um, certainly hashtag Janome HQ. And then we'll see. Oh, I'll turn this around. Ooh, ooh, there's the back wall. I hope my room's not too messy. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, so I can see. I'm trying to spin this all around. Um, I'm connected to so many cables. So, yes, I just will spin around. Oh, lovely. 
So it's great to see everybody. Again, I was just uh, online mainly to coming to uh, test everything out and was doing a little bit of sewing at the same time. And I thought, hey, it's been a while since I've seen everybody. So I thought I would jump on and um, see what you're all up to on a Saturday. And uh, it's nice to have some company again as I'm here alone from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center. But it's great that I can connect live with all of you. So thank you very much for joining me today for a little bit. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday and for the weekend. It's a beautiful day here. I had to close the blinds uh, because we were getting so much sun. Oh, I'll spin this around. Uh, yes, I've got big blinds there covering the uh, windows because it is so bright and sunny here today. So I hope it's beautiful where all of you are. So, yes, I will let you all go and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. So, again, thank you so much for keeping me company. It's great to catch up with all of you and have a wonderful weekend. And, yes, thank you for the feedback about the lives. So, I think that's definitely something I'm going to explore and then we will announce about doing some Janome HQ Facebook Live so I can connect with more of you. So that's a wonderful thing about all of this. So I will see you all again very soon. Uh, make sure you tune in if you're on Instagram uh, Wednesday at 1 p.m. as I do another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern on Instagram. But then uh, if I plan to do then more uh, Facebook Lives, then I will certainly um, announce that as well on the Janome HQ Facebook page. So then you'll be able to tune in and yeah so thank you everyone for joining me thank you this has been lovely so have a wonderful day enjoy bye